We all saw the TikTok aging filter, right guys? I certainly don't want to look like this in my 50s, in my 60s, maybe in my 80s, but not 50s or 60s. I want to look young. And yeah guys, I do consider aging a privilege and to age gracefully with my loved one is the most amazing thing in the world, but still I want to look good. And this is why I'm making this video to share with you guys free science-based anti-aging tips to prevent aging and to look great at all. Hey you guys! What's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Kate, I'm a pharmacist and I'm very happy to see you here. And I'm very happy to be back because July was crazy. The daycare was closed and I was also body draining my toddler. So my nerves went to far, far away and I'm very happy to be back. So first things first, the first tip and the most important one and remember this tip for the whole your life guys wear a sunscreen in a minute, wear a sunscreen if it's raining, if it's cold outside, if you don't see the sun if it's, not night, if it's a night, you don't have to wear a sunscreen <laughs> but if it's raining, if it's winter, every time, if it's windy, if it's sunny, if it's spring or autumn, wear a sunscreen and I mean it guys because photo aging is actually responsible for 90% of the skin changes, 90% guys, so you can prevent 90% of your skin changes just wearing a sunscreen. And I mean it guys, even if you go to your esthetician every day, if you bathe in wet noise, but you don't wear a sunscreen, it's just pointless. It's just pointless and you will get no results because Aesthetician makes you some acid peeling and you go outside and you just burn your face because after acid peeling your skin is very sensitive and if you go sunbathing you burn your face and it would be worse than it was before. And it's not because aesthetician did something wrong, it's just because you don't wear a sunscreen. So if you can choose only one thing to take from this video, take this one. <laughs> <laughs> wear a sunscreen, wear a sunscreen every day, find a sunscreen you love and which feels good on your skin, which you love using and it becomes a routine and you will just use a sunscreen every day, no matter what, and your skin will say thank you. And as you can see on this illustration, UVA radiation, there is UVA and UVB radiation. UVA radiation can actually penetrate through the glass, through the window glass or car glass and it can go deeper into the into the skin and damage DNA, but UVB radiation is actually responsible for sunburns. And if you're in search of a good sunscreen, I have some in my collection. And the first one is of course the Beauty of Joseph Relief Sun Sunscreen. It's amazing guys, and I'm still waiting for my sunscreen stick from the Beauty of Chosen and for the sunscreen uh, serum. I don't know how they did it, but they did it and they have a serum, they have a cream and they have a stick and it's amazing. The sunscreen is amazing if the serum and the sticks are as amazing as the sunscreen cream. It's just love. It's the favorite sunscreen of mine and it's the best. It feels like moisturizer and and I actually used it instead of moisturizer for the whole summer. Uh, currently, I am using the Dr. Seracle sunscreen. It's not my favorite, but I'm going to finish this. And actually, it's great, but I have some stinging in my eyes, so I don't necessarily like it, and I don't necessarily want to talk about this. But my second best sunscreen is Isn't Tree Watery Sun Gel, and actually, I have a video about best sunscreens, and you can see it here. And the Watery Sun Gel is my second best sunscreen and it's amazing, it also feels like moisturizer. It's probably a little more lightweight than the Isn't Tree, than the Beauty of Chosen one, but I like them both. Just fine. <laughs> Just find your favorite one, which feels great on the skin, which you like, the packaging, the formula, everything, and you will start using sunscreen without any problems. And now let's move to the anti-aging tip number two and it's retinoids. Retinoids are my favorite and retinoids are vitamin I. I. 
<laughs> vitamin A derivatives and the strongest one is tretinoin. You can get it only with prescription so you need to go to the derm and get the prescription before starting using it. And if you don't want to use the strongest one, which is white in the beginning, you can get the milder version, the retinol or retinoid esters. There are a lot of them and if you want to know more about retinoids, here's the video I talk about retinoids. And retinoids guys are scientifically proved to be great anti-aging and anti-acne ingredients and yeah these are amazing so if you're a beginner and you haven't used retinoids before i recommend you to definitely start with the milder version either retinol esters or retinol itself and don't go for higher concentrations like don't start with using one percent retinol like i did <laughs> But I did it smart, guys. I started from once a week and built my tolerance, build it up. And yeah, you can start from the milder concentration and then build it up to the every other night or every night or as you want, as you wish, as your skin tolerates it. But this is a very strong active, so if you start using this every day from the day one, you will get a lot of irritation, a lot of dryness, maybe even skin peeling. So yeah, there are side effects to this active. And if you start slow and go high, everything will be all right. And of course, if you're using strong actives, guys, use sunscreen. And let me also explain you why you need to wear sunscreen when you use strong actives like retinoids or exfoliating acids. Retinoids are also stimulating your skin cell renewal and if your skin is peeling or irritated or sensitive, it will get burned easier than usual. So if you're using something strong like retinoids, exfoliating acids or any other actives, just use a sunscreen. Just be if you want my recommendation which retinoid serum to use, the Inky List, one of my favorite brands, has great retinoid. It's the Inky List retinol serum and it contains 1% retinol acetate. Its retinol ester is less potent than retinol or tretinoin, a lot less potent than tretinoin. And yes, it will be less irritating, so it's a great start for you. And you can use it every other day in the beginning and build it up so as your skin tolerates it you can use it every night or every other night or every third night or once a week once a week probably will be two once a week probably would be too little for the retinoids to start working and also remember that retinoids work slowly and you will see the first results after like four months to four to six months and don't wait for fast results guys it's give it time <laughs> give it a time and you will see results and if you use it every night you will see the result you will see the results faster of course and you if you use it once a week probably it will take a year for you to see the results so probably once a week is too little but if you use it two to three times a week like I do and I start seeing results after six months of use and yeah guys if you have deep wrinkles, don't expect retinol to erase those wrinkles. For example, on your forehead, they will make it less visible, but retinol won't erase those. If you want to erase those, you need to use products. I myself use the Paula's Choice 1% Retinol Solution. Solution treatment serum, and I really, really like it. It hasn't a I haven't felt any irritation, any sensitivity, anything bad from it, but I started really slow, guys. I started from once a week for a month, then I went for two, twice a week uh, for a month, and then I just stopped about three times a week. So I basically never use this every other day or every single day, and I'm just happy with what I see. I don't think my skin will like it. And you also probably heard about skin cycling. If we remember correctly, the first day is the exfoliation day, the second day is retinoids day, and the third and fourth day are the just relaxing days uh, or something. So probably if you're a beginner, this schedule is amazing. Just I would not exfoliate more than once a week just because I don't see the point in this. So yeah, you can try things 
you can try skin cycling and if you feel like your skin feels amazing and uh, you feel that you need more of retinoids you can use you can use retinoids like exfoliation retinoids pause retinoids pause exfoliation something like that so yeah your skin is what you need to pay attention to. So now during summer I have this schedule. I exfoliate on Monday, then I use retinol on Tuesday and Thursday, and then I give my skin three days to to repair, to restore the barrier. And that's just it. I don't exfoliate every Monday. If I don't feel like exfoliating, I then use retinoids three times a week or if I exfoliate I use them two times a week and this is the schedule my skin loves and I feel like my skin looks amazing and I have also many friends told me that so yeah I think I'm on the right road and I don't want to use retinoids more that's it and the third thing to consider using if you want to avoid premature aging is antioxidants Antioxidants are amazing. There are actually a lot of processes going on in our skin, in our body, and during those processes, free radicals can be produced. And these free radicals can also be called reactive oxygen species, and ROS, ROS, like Rachel and ROS, but with one S. <laughs> and if these reactive oxygen species are not neutralized, by antioxidants, they can damage our DNA and they can harm our organism, our body and actually many diseases come from the oxidative stress and the DNA damage due to reactive oxygen species. And what can antioxidants do? They can reduce the free radicals production and they can also neutralize these free radicals. And the most famous ones are of course vitamin C, coenzyme Q10 and green tea extract. These all are amazing antioxidants and we all love them. I love green tea extract to the moon and back guys. I don't use vitamin C because I haven't found the great one yet. Of course, we have skin SkinCeuticals vitamin C, but it's so expensive, guys. I just, I'm not ready for this, <laughs> but I know it's amazing. And I also use Drunk Elephant vitamin C. It's also very expensive and I don't like Drunk Elephant because of their uh, policy. Maybe something changed, but I haven't heard about them <laughs> for a long, long time. So if you can recommend me a great vitamin C serum, please write in the comments down below. And I'm actually a fan of green tea extract. I both drink it and put it on my skin and it's amazing. I really love how my skin feels, how refreshed, how fresh it is with green tea toner. I actually use a lot of toners this summer because they're so lightweight and when it's hot outside, I don't want to put too many products on my skin because it will be greasy, oily, sweaty and everything and yeah, the less products I use and the more lightweight those are, the greater my skin feels. <laughs> So this is the Isentree Green Tea Fresh Toner. It contains 80% of green tea and it helps to even out the skin tone, fights the excessive sebum production and many, many more. Green tea is an amazing antioxidant, guys, so it can fight free radicals and make our skin more healthy, more fresh and avoid premature aging. So yeah, as it has antioxidant properties, it can minimize the sun damage if you don't wear a sunscreen. It doesn't mean, guys, if you put a green tea toner, this will cancel the sun damage. No, but if you wear a sunscreen, but you still get hyperpigmentation somewhere, green tea can help with it. But also, if you want to know more about hyperpigmentation, which this video, uh, where I talk about all the best hyperpigmentation fighting ingredients, the only ones that work, and antioxidants are actually one of these. And yeah, green tea can minimize the sun damage, and it can also fight redness and irritation. Everything is <laughs> better with green tea, guys. So guys, we went through free skincare tips to avoid premature aging and to look great in your 50s and 60s and 40s and 30s and 20s to look amazing always. And the first, <laughs> the first, and the first one was to always use a sunscreen. The second one was to use retinoids. And the third one is to use antioxidants. And if you do all those free Thanks. You will look amazing, trust me guys. If you also occasionally go to esthetician to have some micro session, to have some chemical peel, 
but you still continue doing those three things, you will look better than everyone you know who doesn't do this. <laughs> yeah, caring for your skin is not a bad thing. Caring for your skin is amazing, guys, and I have my mom who tells me, don't touch your face, you're too young, you will ruin your face, nothing will work on you when you are 40. This is a lie. <laughs> Prevention is always easier, guys, than creating something. So prevent aging signs and you will look amazing, but remember that these things are not like miracle, they are not buttocks, they won't erase your wrinkles on your forehead if they are deep, they won't erase deep wrinkles, but they will help you with the teeny tiny fine lines and wrinkles around your eyes, from the smile lines and hair there, so yeah. But remember about consistency. You need to use those things every single day. I don't mean they use erythmas every single day, but I mean to use those things, those free tips consistently. Don't take like month vacation for the skincare. Nothing will happen, but you will just raise the results you achieved before. So guys, I hope it was helpful and thank you for watching, put the thumbs up, subscribe to this channel and I will see you in the next video, bye!